Hello everybody, this is Fern here here, and today we are going to learn how to convert a picture into a sound file. It is actually really easy and all of this software is free. So first thing you are going to need is something called Audio Paint. You download this and this makes it possible for you to take any picture that you want and change it into a sound file. Now you can make pictures and paint anything. You could just draw a few lines and those even sound pretty cool. But it can only read JPEG, GIF, PNG, and BMP files. So yeah, that, that's not bad at all. Second thing you're going to need is, well you don't really need it, but it's kind of cool to have. It's called Sonic Visualizer, and when you play the sound through this, you will be able to see the most of the picture, depending on how and what the picture is. Some pictures don't come out as clear as others, but words come out nice, stuff like that. I even did a portrait of one of my friends, and most of it came out, except for the lower half is actually counted as lower frequencies. So, it didn't turn out. The lower half of him just didn't turn out. So, after you get those two, you can open up your favorite paint program, which I have Photoshop, and I made this in Photoshop, and I exported it as a PNG, pretty colors. Next, you open up Audio Paint, and I already have it in there. You click Audio Generate. Yeah, and that's what it sounds like. Now you can make this faster just by typing in there and it will go a lot faster. Or you can make it longer by typing in there. I had it at 5 at first and it does make a big difference. If you set this number to like 1200, it's going to use quite a bit more memory and a lot more processing power. And it takes quite a bit of time. So now, I already exported this. To export this, you just hit export sound. And if you want to import another picture after this, you hit cont either control I or import picture under file. So after you export the sound, you find it. You find it on your desktop just to make sure it's there. Click on Sonic Visualizer. Now, open. Now this program does take a few minutes to start. It can be eh at times because it is 32-bit so just be patient with it don't just click 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 because if you just click 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 it will go through and click wrong things okay so right now this is a sound file that was generated let's turn this down so we are going to want to add spectrograph under layer and there's our, our beautiful Hern Hue Vision as you can see the U is not really there if we compare the pictures. Picture, come back. The U isn't picture now. The U isn't really there, and that's because of the color I used. That brown is it just don't like it. So just don't use low colors like that. And then you can play through it. And as you can see every low point it hits in there. Now a couple more things you can do with this is wait I think it was an audio paint never mind so yeah that's pretty cool and then something else you can do with audio paint is have it generate random lines curves and stuff like that let's just generate something quick ooh pretty I don't think it's gonna sound good at all do you sounds pretty freaking awesome and that's just all the different colors and how they are located and where they're located is what it does so I hope you enjoyed 